I'm sorry. Tell me about uh, about uh, the search warrant. You had some issues with the search warrant. They didn't have one. They didn't have one when they came here. They had no notice. So of they seizure. had no legal authority to seize your animals, especially late at night, like eight thirty at night. Why eight thirty at night? I don't know, especially when they had all day to obtain a warrant. I honestly believe there's a little snitch in the courthouse because let me tell you something. Oh, uh, it sure sounds like it, doesn't it? I'll tell you why. Just two weeks before that, this girl at Day Report, because I'm with the common criminals, the ones that really are criminals. And, I, you know, I'm not saying that everybody is guilty of the things they do, but, I mean, there are some people that are guilty of some things. And this one girl is always in trouble. And she happened to ask me one day, did they take your animals? I said, no, it wasn't ordered in court. She goes, well, they're supposed to take your animals. I said, well, I don't know anything about it. It wasn't ordered. It wasn't but a week later they came and took my animals. The same person that runs around the courtroom, lollygagging around, flaunting with every male person in there. You know, she's everybody's buddy. And next thing I know, my animals are being seized. That's what I chalk it up to be, a snitch. Let me let me get this straight now. You came, they arrested you, uh, sent you a summons, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, to come to court and answer animal cruelty charges. Mm -hmm. For the second time after the first one was com conveniently dropped. and Right. They dropped the first time they did it. Mm -hmm. Then the second time. Now why would they have uh, why would they have not have taken the animals at the time they sent you that summons? Did, were they trusting that you were taking good care of the Obviously animals? Obviously they were because they admitted that all my animals were in good condition in the hearing. And they had been up here before, and they saw the animals. Now, who there. said that? Josh. Josh Vaughn, the yeah. animal control officer, hey, said that you were taking good care of your animals. Yes, and Robin also said that she wasn't going to adopt my African gray parrot out because she knew that I took good care of her and I knew how to take care of her. Well, where, who did they adopt the parrot out to? As far as I know, it's still in her office. Oh, really? She's keeping the parrot in her office? Mm -hmm. Did you buy a $1,200 parrot to decorate the animal control officer's Absolutely office? Absolutely not. She is a one-person bird, and I was told that when I bought her, that she would be a lifelong chore of keeping her, and I was told by the pet store owner that if I wasn't planning to keep her for 60 to 80 years, I shouldn't have her. And that was my whole purpose of buying her. See, I was uh, I was stunned when I first heard that you had, they had taken, what all did they take from you? Well, they took... Now, they made an inventory of this. You have a list of this, right? Oh, absolutely not. They never made it, no. They I'm have not. to make an inventory. They did it in my case when they took all my computer stuff. They took it away, well, and they wrote it out and signed it. Well, if they did it, I didn't see what, it. What's different between me and you, Jennifer? I guess they're Maybe they knew that I would insist on inventory. Figured, they probably figured they were covering their butt with you because you're a lot smarter. Well, uh, yeah, it sounded to me like their butts need covered for uh, you, too. I had to write How down, are they going to know what to return? I don't think they were planning on ever returning it. That was a point. I had to write down their names, what shops they had, what they ate, the whole nine yards. Wanted to know if they were fixed or not, and I said, absolutely. I said, I'm not like some of these other low-life people that go and get vouchers to fix their animals. I paid full price. I got all their shots. I had their nails clipped. Got them warming medicine. And let me tell you, it's quite expensive for the amount of animals that I had. My daughter, my youngest daughter, is homeless because of this. In fact, you know, because she can't make the rent where she's at right now, she might have to leave. You know, she had a place here, but they won't let me live with any animals now do this and I'm not guilty and that's because she has animals yes she has two dogs and okay well I want to get back to the where I was talking about what what did they take they took a Norwegian elk hound that was five years old which was my handicapped daughter's dog family pet yes, your daughter's my, family my pet. handicapped blind daughter's family pet her personal confidant her only basis for keeping her calm. Her nighttime buddy. Um, and also a little mixed breed dog which I had saved from rescue. And uh, Now wait a minute. That means 
the animal control somebody in the humane society had allowed you to adopt an animal um, actually for the two wiener dogs that my daughter has, yes. This other dog I took from somebody that was doing drugs and wasn't feeding their baby and wasn't okay. feeding the dog, so I took... But in other words, they had basically already certified that you were a good caretaker for the animals. Absolutely, because they checked into me at the Greenbrier Pound before I even adopted the wiener dogs for my daughter. So it was the Greenbrier, the Greenbrier Humane people yes. that did it? Yes, absolutely. There was a three-day waiting period, and I had to pay You had already money. passed muster as a good caretaker. Oh, yes, because my vet, Julie Gibson, is one of their vets, and uh, she was absolutely ecstatic when she found out that I was one adopted now, two Now, this, um, this vet, Julie Gibson, is she a local girl? She lives in Frankfurt and has an office in Frankfurt. Okay. So she would have been, if, if you were allowed to have witnesses that day, she could have been there. She would have been the And it would have witness. exonerated you because you would have had a professional veterinarian say that you were taking good care of the animals. Absolutely. Well, of course they didn't want anybody. At the, they didn't want you to have witnesses. No, they didn't. Especially when they more or less knew who my vet was because I told them. Yeah. And So they stopped you from having any witnesses and hence you couldn't even have a veterinarian to be there. Now what vet did they have there to say the animals were in bad shape? Obviously I think it was the owner's daughter. How convenient. The yeah. owner's daughter? The owner of the horse. He told me when I when he dropped the horses off that um, I didn't need to get a vet, that he had his own vet and his daughter was a vet. Well that and, is convenient. Right. And that way it would save me some money and I wouldn't have to worry so much. And well, how did they establish, excuse me just a second, well, how did they establish that the animals were mistreated? Did they have a professional there at Not, that trial that day? Just that person. She was there. Mm -hmm. And, and she did she testify? What, she said what they wanted her to did say. Did your lawyer cross-examine her? Really? She didn't ask a single solitary thing. You got a problem with that lawyer? She asked one or two questions, and and Bob Martin kept objecting with everything. We've just established that, Your Honor. And then he started laughing, you know, making fun of her. So you never had any, uh, there were no expert witnesses presented. I, I think that they were led into their testimony because he was asking the questions, and they were answering them just as he wanted them answered. Okay. Back again, I want to get to the list of these animals. You got the Norwegian elk hound. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? A little mixed breed female male dog. It's kind of like a toy dog? Mm -hmm. Okay. I had an African gray parrot. They took my daughter's rabbit that she had outside in a pen that we had just built for it. I had another little bird, a love bird, which I had him for five years as well, and 23 chickens and two roosters, and they were fixing on taking the horses that I had just sold. They came up here with a horse trailer, and the first question out of their mouth is, where's your horses? I said, I sold them. You got a problem with that? You wouldn't be lying to us, would you? So, no. these horses were not... The horses they were trying to seize were not even here? No. No, they were trying to seize. Well, how many horses did they seize from here? The only ones that they took were the ones that I had previous bought with the one in question. Two of them. And that was the horse that... They said I abused. That they said you had abused, mm -hmm. but it was the daughter of the man who sold the horse to you is the one who... Uh, who uh, ha was she's the one of the, she was the expert to determine if you had mistreated the animals. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, did she examine the uh, chickens? No. Did she examine uh, the dogs? Nope. But Josh saw them all, and. But wait a minute, Josh is he a vet? No, but he seemed to know an awful lot of things about animals. He said that um, when I told him that the owner of the horse had told me, I told him he, the horse had teeth missing and that she cribbed and that the horse was depressed. And he said, depressed. He goes, that means she has a medical condition. And I said, well, no. I said, the owner of the horse told me that she was depressed. So he said he had horses and was around horses all his life. And 
that meant the horse had a medical condition because it chewed on everything. But he admitted in court that I had other animals and that they all were very healthy. I had a pig that weighed 1,200 pounds at that Wait point. Wait a minute. He had, was there a recording made of this? Yeah, I have a CD that's supposed to be have given to me. And now, have they given you this CD yet? Not as of yet. Of course, I'm still waiting. For now, they can give you that CD within two or three days because I asked for a CD of my hearing. Did they? And how long has that been? My God, it's been about a month. Well, you've had plenty of time to get the CD. You need to go in there tomorrow get the CD. The public defender's office, I signed a release form to get all that information. But they haven't uh, done anything about no, getting that were, CD? They were supposed to call me when it came in. So you had to give know. them like $5 or something. <laughs> but that's not a big deal. The no. important thing is to get the CD. How do you know <laughs> that they did a CD? I was told by my first lawyer. Okay, so Susan Brees knows that a CD was made. Yes, and she said that she went over the evidence when they came and took my animals and listened to everything, and it was not ordered on there for them to seize my animals at that time. So you're saying that uh, the the court record doesn't even establish that your animals were to be seized? No, not on the day that I was found guilty. The only thing they gave me was a huge fine and six months of community service at the day report. Well, what's that consist of? Basically, you have to call in every morning, Monday through Friday, before 8 o'clock. Um, you're supposed to, if you're not working, provide hours into the community unless you're disabled, which I can't do that because I've got a lot of severe back issues going on right well, now. Well, you also have a disabled daughter. Yes, and I have a disabled daughter, and I care for her 24-7. Right. She hasn't slept since July the 2nd, the day they took her animals. She has a lot of aggression and bites herself and hits herself and everything because the animals are gone. Sound like you've got a major lawsuit coming your way. Well, I'm telling you. I mean, I've just been... I mean, this is emotional distress. It's a lot of emotional distress. And it's My hard for me to imagine... Down. Right. ...how that they thought, what they thought your daughter was going to be her reaction when you take away her animal. A I... blind, autistic daughter. Right. That can't speak yet. That can't even speak. With a mind of a three-year-old. Right. I, you know, honestly, I don't think they care. They just want to... No, they don't care. They want to convict somebody. They want to make an example of somebody, and I think I was it. I think so, too. I'm surprised they didn't have a video camera. When they came to my house to steal my stuff, they brought uh, they brought the, the um, sheriff's secretary to film it all. And you know what, Jennifer? I've got the CD of that, and that's going to go to court. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's why I'm saying I hope you will well, get a like copy of that. It's like that famous picture where you falling down there right oh, in front yeah. of the newspaper company. They arrested me right in front of the Times office. That was perfect timing, wasn't oh, it? Oh, it was perfect timing. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the...